So let's try and simplify the inside of the integral first. 4 to the power 1 by 2 sine square x is equal to 4 to the power 1 by 2 times sine square x, which is equal to 2 to the power sine square x. Using the properties of logs, we can add log of 2 to the power cos square x plus the log of 2 to the power sine square x. And this will be equal to the log of 2 to the power sine square x times 2 to the power cos square x. Now, using the properties of exponents, this will be equal to the log of 2 to the power sine square x plus cos square x. So now we can substitute the fact that sine square x plus cos square x is equal to 1, and we get the log of 2 raised to the power 1. Now let's try and simplify this integral from e to 0. This integral will now be equal to the integral of the log of 2 dx, which will be equal to x log 2 computed at the intervals e to 0. This will be equal to e log 2 minus 0 log 2. Now, this will be equal to e log 2 minus 0, which will be equal to e log 2, which is our final solution.